welcome back to my channel. Um, today is my 10 week bump up date. Um, so sorry you can see this by the way. You are on a box on top of a radiator and if I don't push the camera all the way back you will fall. Um, so basically um, this is my 10 week bump up date like I just said. Um, Actually, as I'm filming this, I am currently just about to go into my um, 11 weeks. And like I said in my previous video, I am going to do these um, fortnightly. Just because I don't think that much changes in like a week. And there might even be some weeks where the video is really boring and it's just me saying the same stuff. As you can tell. I am out of breath. I'm so sorry for the really manky hair, no makeup whatsoever, nothing new there anyway. Um, and I am repping KK and Baby J's merch. Um, but I am, after I film this, going to sort my horse out. So, so first off, I'll start with um, throughout, not this whole pregnancy, I would say from about week seven, um, I have suffered with... My main one has been nausea. Um, it's not been, it's not been really bad because so far as it stands today, um, I have only thrown up three times and I am very thankful for that because I, I swear I have like a genuine fear of throwing up. All day nausea, like it just never seems to go away. Um, and the other thing I'm experiencing this week is bloating or at least i think it's bloating literally it's worse in the evenings because that's when i have a bigger meal than i would obviously breakfast and lunch um and i try to eat it slowly and maybe not have as much as i probably would and then wait and maybe have like a dessert or you know something a little bit later um, because it literally just feels like my stomach like blows up to the point where there's so much pressure but it's not like gas pressure because it, TMI right now past, <laughs> past wind as I'm bloated but the pressure just never seems to go away um, and that also obviously makes me feel a bit like nauseous and a bit sick to my stomach but that's just because there's so much pressure on it. I don't know how to get rid of it so if you do have any tips on how to deal with that and like I say it is worse in the evenings um then please leave them <laughs> down below I'm willing to try anything I've tried um things like Tums um Rennie um I've also tried um it was something liquid and I think it was like a, an actual gas relief and that did so far they have not helped um but other than that I don't think I've suffered too much more than um from my week eight update and my son is about to walk in the door hi what are you doing mom I'm filming what's this don't touch please what's this on there? I've got a slight bump which I'll show you at the end so I'm going to read through what it says and I believe it's gone on my phone now because I've just hit 11 weeks it says um, baby Davis is the size of a kumquat now I'm not 100% sure what that is I believe it's an Indian fruit quote me if I'm wrong probably am but I believe that's what it is. Um, so about one and a quarter inches long. Um, and it says basically if it's a boy, his testes um, are begin beginning to produce and things like that. Um, but we won't find out the gender until our 20 week scan, which actually falls right around Christmas. Um, so I don't know how that's going to play out whether we find out before Christmas or after Christmas, I'm not sure yet. Um, I do have my 12 week scan already booked and it's on the 16th of October. So I will actually get my, my proper due date 
then I'm so sorry for this. This is just <laughs> gonna carry on through the video. And like I've said in my previous video, I think I, I mentioned it, um, I am a lot more scared this time round. Um, just because I think I know what's coming, I don't know. I had really bad, like really, really bad, um, Oh, I've just thought of another thing, which I'll tell you in a minute. Pregnant, I've had like a miscarriage, but I don't know about it. Like I've had no bleeding or anything like that or any signs of miscarriage. I don't know why, I just have this gut feeling. So I actually can't wait for my scan to, you know, just make sure everything is as it should be and what it should be. Um, I think I have all my um, genetic testing on the same day I believe um, but I will let you know because obviously I will be doing a 12 week update anyway um, and I will make sure I do it um, on the day of my scan or I might actually have to do it the day after my scan but I will update you anyway because I will have to do my 12 week bump update um, but the other thing I actually just thought of was um, I'm going through a lot obviously with just being pregnant itself um i had my flu jab the other day and it hurt <laughs> um but obviously my body's been trying to deal with um fighting off you know part of the flu that they injected into me my arm was sore the first day like so sore um so i was dealing with that being pregnant and i was advised by both of my doctors actually that i should come off my antidepressants um at first i didn't know how to um feel about this because it's very i i actually i think it's more mind over matter for me um the fact that i don't know maybe maybe it was more of a placebo type effect that I was feeling once I was taking the medication, I don't know, but I know you can get withdrawal symptoms um, from stopping your tablets. And because I was on such a low dose of 10 milligrams, they, they physically couldn't obviously lower the dose anymore for me. And basically they advised me to just go cold turkey. Now I am almost a week into just going cold turkey and obviously with the nausea that i already have and things like that i don't know if it's from withdrawal symptoms from not taking them anymore or if it's from just being pregnant i don't know um but so far i'm actually doing okay and the doctor did say he would actually be very surprised you know how well i would actually feel in myself from not taking the antidepressants because whilst you're pregnant you um what did he call it you produce more is it serotonin i'm sure that's what he said serotonin which is basically you know your your happy mood which makes you happy you produce more um craig would say otherwise that i'm a mardi b-i-t-c-h <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually surprised in myself that I'm actually feeling okay about taking them. The only thing I fear is my ectopic beats. Um, since not taking the antidepressants, I have felt them more. But again, I don't know if that's just because I'm worrying more because I'm not taking them. Like, do you see where I'm coming from? Like, it's, <laughs> it's almost like a placebo effect of, I don't think me taking the pill obviously was helping my ectopic beats because that's that's not what they do. They just help you relax. And I think obviously with being a bit more stressed about not taking them and worrying, etc, etc, it's just making my ectopic beats worse, um, which then obviously brings on a bit of anxiety. But so far, I have been fine. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm really down about is obviously I have to stop riding now. Um, not not because I want to, because I don't, because obviously riding is my hobby, it's my passion, I absolutely love it. Um, 
you know, I, I am very, very fortunate to have people around me to ride for me. So, you know, that's, that's not a concern or a worry that I have to deal with. Um, and they do live at my mum, so my mum is there 24 seven. So, you know, she does care for them. We have three. Um, so there's not too much to worry about there. Obviously I still go over and I like to like groom and things like that. Um, just to still get <laughs> in the bonding time. I was thinking of buying one of those um, fetal Dopplers. And if you have any recommendations of which one is the best to buy, uh, leave them in the comments down below and I will have a look. Um, I think the one I saw, you can either, I can't remember its name. I want to say angel baby but I, I can't remember um, and it come in either blue or pink or purple I think uh, was the colours um, but the reviews on it are a bit mixed but I don't know if that's because people have used it really early on in pregnancy um, obviously I know you can't hear the heartbeat until nine weeks anyway and they say most fetal dopplers won't actually pick anything significant up until about 16 weeks anyway um, but I would still like to have one for obviously Craig's sake that he would, you know, get to know that actually the baby is okay, you know, this the heartbeat is strong, it's healthy. Um, obviously he won't get to see the baby live on a screen, but he will get to see pictures. Um, and he is obviously allowed in the 20 week one, so we will find out the gender together. Um, we did want it to be a surprise, but I don't think that's going to happen because they don't allow people to write it down. Um, but yeah, that's all to update on. I will show you my bump and I will see you in my next update. <laughs>